Welcome back. In this section, we are going to prepare our profit and loss statement and we are going to use the same file that we were using in the last section. So the first thing that I need to do is to add a new sheet into my file and I will do that by clicking here. And first of all, let us rename this sheet as PNL. And now let us recall the basic structure of profit and loss statement. So in the rows, we will expect all the ledgers like sales, cost of sales and, you know, marketing expense, etc. So what I want to present in the rows is going to be, you know, here in the chart of accounts and that is going to be account and sub account. So I will start with the account. I will drag the account field from here to the rows and in the columns, I want to present the years. So, you know, in the calendar table, we can of course drag down the year here from here to the columns but by if i do that if i drag down the year field i will not be able to split my data into quarters and months so i will rather drag down the date field and system will automatically create the hierarchy of year uh, and then we can split it further to qu quarters and months as well now next thing you will notice is that you must be seeing that a lot of ledgers that appear that are appearing here are not related to the profit and loss statement so for example this cash and cash equivalent has nothing to do with profit and loss statement and this is because you know we have dragged down the account here which means all the account that were present in my chart of accounts have been brought together so what we need to do now is that we need to make sure that we are only seeing the accounts that are related to profit and loss statement and that classification was available in the report tab in my chart of accounts so let me take you to my chart of accounts first and let me show you so here you can see that in my chart of accounts i have multiple columns uh, of course the ledgers are defined at the account level and sub account level but if we have to broadly classify that which ledgers are related to balance sheet and which are related to profit and loss account you can see that we have the report column here which we can use to classify them and if we look at them if we look at the further levels as well uh, keep an eye on the profit and loss and you can see that you know in the class level we can broadly def define that which accounts are related to trading account which are related to operating and which are related to non-operating and finally interest and tax then we have some kind of further classification at subclass level as well and then we have further classification at subclass level 2 as well and then we have classification of ledgers at account and sub account level so this table has been very carefully designed in a way that we should be able to prepare our profit and loss from this structure of course you know you will have to do it for if you are using your own company's chart of accounts you will have to define this table if that has not been done already and you will have to classify each ledger into proper classes that if for, for example if there is a conference expense what should be the subclass for that if that is marketing or sales and distribution and then if that overall this this category is falling into operating or non-operating or trading and then if that is a profit and loss or balance sheet account so we have to define this structure for once in our company and then we can use that okay so now that we have this basic understanding i will go back to my tableau and now I will use this filter option. I will drag down this report from here to the filters and I will make sure that I select only the profit and loss ledgers and I will click on apply. And you can see that a lot of ledgers have now been uh, deleted from here and I will click on OK. And the next thing that we want to do is to bring in the values. So we will also bring in the values. And for that, we will be going to the GL and we will drag down this amount from here to the text option. And now you can see we have quickly uh, prepared our profit and loss statement, even though it is not following the proper, uh, proper, you know, proper pattern of PNL. We are going to do it next, but you can quickly see that we have our profit and loss related ledgers and we have the data, we have the balances for all the three years. Now, the next thing that we should be properly classifying that the sales should be coming on the top and then the sales return and then cost of sales well of course we can start you know we can sort at this level as well but the better option is to go to the broader levels i mean to go to the class and subclass levels that we have defined in our chart of accounts and then our work will be much more faster 
So I will quickly bring in the class from here to my rows and let us insert it here before the account. And once you do that, you know, you can see that we now have very quickly available uh, this broader structure of PNL that is available. Let us do the sorting and for that I will click here and I will in fact I will right click here and I will click on sort and in that sorting I will say that let us go to you know uh, let us go to the manual sorting and in that manual sorting the trading account should be coming on the top so I will click there. The operating account should be coming after that the non-operating should be coming after that and finally we should have interest and tax. So this broader structure is looking quite like PNL now. We have trading account on the top, then operating, non-operating and finally interest and tax. So I will close this now. So the broader structure of the PNL has been fixed together but now you can see that we even have to do the sorting at this level as well the sales should be coming on the top and then sales return and then cost of sales but rather than doing it for account what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my chart of accounts and i'm going to bring in the subclass and subclass 2 as well and doing the sorting at that level that will make my work much more faster so let us go to this level and bring in subclass and insert here and let us do the quick sorting at this level as well so i will go to sort and i will say let us do the manual sorting and now first thing that i want to make sure is sales should be coming on the top then we should be seeing cost of sales and then after that if i can scroll down yes then we should be seeing the operating expenses so i will take it to the top uh, i mean at this level the depreciation and amortization is appearing after that that is fine in this non-operating i think there is no as such quick rule strict rule that we should be following so i will just st uh, leave it like that and finally we have interest tax interest expense interest income so interest income actually should be appearing you know uh, above interest expense so that is it and i think that is uh, the overall structure is fine now so i will simply close this and you can see the pnl has a proper structure now let us bring in the subclass level 2 as well there is a reason why these levels have been defined so i should be bringing in that as well and now you can see we have sales and then cost of sales okay so after the subclass level 2 we have the account that we have defined here and finally you may like to bring in the sub account as well if you want even further details so i will just take it here and i will uh, drop it for a moment and now you can see you have even further information so for most of the accounts this is quite useless this is going to be just the repeat early cost of the account so i'm going to delete sub account that is no more needed perfect so we quickly have the profit and loss structure that we can see here the next thing that i would like to see in my profit and loss statement is going to be the grand total for these columns since my expenses are already in negative and my income is in positive the grand total is going to be the net profit to add the grand total i will simply click here on this analysis tab and you will have this option of totals and i will say show grand totals for the columns and once we have done that you can see the net profit for each of the year has been added you may like to add the subtotals as well for the trading account, for the operating account, non-operating and interest and tax so that you can see the gross, uh, gross profit and totals of the operating account etc. To add the subtotals we will again go to the analysis tab and we will say totals and we will click on add all subtotals and once you do that you can see the system has added subtotals to your, uh, to your profit and loss statement but it has also messed up the structure of my profit and loss statement the reality is we do not want subtotals for all of these levels for example i don't need the subtotal for sales i don't need the subtotal for cost of sales again so what i will simply do is that i will go to the subclass level 2 and i will uncheck this subtotal option here and you can see that this subtotal has been removed Similarly, I will go to the subclass level and I will uncheck the subtotal from here as well. And I will leave the subtotal for class level so that we can see the subtotal for trading account, which is actually the cross profit.
we can see the subtotal for operating account which is actually the total of my operating expenses and similarly total of non-operating total of interest and tax and the grand total is already there and finally let us apply proper name to these tags of totals and grand totals so first of all i will go to the grand total i will right click here and i will click on format and you will see that you have this left panel here on which you can enter the label name as well so i will be doing here and i will enter this name as net profit and i will move forward now ideally we should be labeling this uh, total as cross profit and accordingly we should be you know labeling other totals as well accordingly but the limitation here is that we can only apply one name that is going to be applied for all these subtotal labels there so if i name this one gross profit that the, this total and this total and this one is also going to be named as gross profit so this is the limitation and because of that i will not be labeling these subtotals at all i will leave it like that so that is the basic profit and loss statement i hope that you know this is uh, making a very good sense to you finally you may like to delete these headings from there that should not be presented in my profit and loss statement so i will right click here and i will say hide field labels for rows so these labels have gone so i want this yearly differentiation i want 2018 19 and 20 label but i don't want to see this date calendar so i will click here and i will say hide field labels for columns as well so that is also gone and finally you may like to change the heading of profit and loss statement you may like to name it little differently so i will right click here and i will say add a title so here i will add the new title that is profit and loss statement now i will select all this text and i will design it according to my own style so i will change the font first of all i will make the size smaller and i will make it bold and i will change the color to this dark blue i will click on apply and you can see that this heading has been applied on our profit and loss statement click on ok and that is it your profit and loss statement is ready i hope you like that